Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to quickly teach you how to actually create a unified sidebar within a prototype view. So imagine you have an application like this and you have, let's say 10, 20, or like let's say in this case, five pages that you just wanna quickly, again, uh, link in a prototype. How do you go about doing that? Well, one option is you can just go ahead and start linking each item. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna link this one, then this one, and then this one and then do the same for all of the options. So that's one option. But then what happens when you actually land on this particular view, nothing is gonna be linked here, right? So in order to create a unified sidebar, what you actually need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a component here. So now that I have a component, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and drag it outside. I'm gonna drag it outside. I'm gonna say this is gonna, let's just go ahead and actually remove all of these. So I'm gonna remove all of them. So on the home page, we want to go here and let's just go ahead and actually swap these as well. So the home page is the first one. And then we have the messaging page. This is the messaging one. Then we have the charts page. That's this one. Then we have the search page. That's this one. And then we have the calendar page, which is this one. So this is exactly what you need to do. And now that you've done that, if I just go ahead and copy and then paste the sidebar here, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it here. And let's just align it on the left. So as you can see, now everything should be linked. The home page itself obviously is not linked. And the reason for that is if we just go here, let's just go ahead and actually place this one here as well. Let's just first of all, go ahead and place all of the sidebar like everywhere, I guess. So I'm gonna place it here. Let's just go ahead and replace this one as well. Paste to replace. Similarly, paste to replace. And here, paste to replace. So now that we have that done, if we just go ahead and have a look at it. So we have the home, the messaging, the search, the calendar. We have all of these pages linked. No matter on which page you are, you can easily just go about and click on the sidebar and interact with it. So that's exactly how you go about and do it and simplify this, obviously now you can go ahead and you can update the icons. I'm gonna say this is gonna be the broken icon, sorry, not in this case, this is gonna be the filled icon. I'm gonna fill it, I'm gonna give it a primary color. Similarly, I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna remove this and just give it a normal one. Similarly here, I'm gonna say this is the search page. I'm gonna go ahead and let's just go ahead and make this, or actually we need to have the fill variation here. So I'm gonna choose the filled variation, go to our messaging, and then obviously in the messaging, I'm just gonna choose the normal one. Similarly, I have to do that for the graphs. I'm gonna say chart and use the filled variation, give it a primary color. For the messaging, I am gonna go ahead and choose the messaging here. And then for the messaging, we have this active. And for the home, we just need to make the home option active so i'm going to go ahead and make it active so that's how you go about again creating a unified sidebar now anytime you're actually changing this none of the interactions are breaking so if i go here now if i click on home that works messaging that works chart works search works calendar works i can go to any particular item from anywhere and that all just works fine. So that was a quick way as to how you create a reusable sidebar component. So you have to first create a component, link it when the component is sitting outside of the frame itself, and then you need to grab the instance and basically just um, have it in all of the different pages. And then obviously you can change uh, which one, which option is active, and that's not gonna disturb uh, the component itself. It's just gonna work normally like you would expect it to. So that's pretty much it. Do subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.